Hi everyone, so welcome to another Divi tutorial. So in this tutorial we are again going to be playing with the blurb module but um, it can apply to any of the modules um, that Divi uses. So we're going to be specifically focusing on a row with three modules in it. Um, inside those modules we've got some text um, and we've got varying varying lengths of text content so that actually what it does it changes the height of the Divi blurb modules so let me just show you what I mean so when you've got a column of can be two three four well multiple blurb modules in this instance but it can apply to any module like a text module um, anywhere where you've got varying length of content so on this on blurb module one and three I've got the same length of text but on blurb module Two, you can see that actually we've got more um, we've got more text and therefore it makes the module bigger than the other two now what we want to do is obviously we want to have all of the modules the same height um, and that just makes things nice and neat um, and we also want to make sure that they're the same height for every size of window going down to the place where actually it changes to tablet format or um, mobile phone format in those formats it really doesn't matter because you don't have them next to each other like this you have them one under the, one under another so what I'll do is I'll show you so this is a typical tablet format um, where they all drop down under each other so you haven't got to worry about the uh, width on there but you do need to worry about the width in all sizes of window um, up until it changes to tablet format so as you can see here if we expand it the uh, the number of rows changes on all of the modules but we want to keep them all the, the, the modules all of the same size so I'm going to show you how to do that so the first thing that we want to do is we want to come into our um, page and we want to edit the row so in this instance it's the green icon uh, the green area here we want to go in and we want to set the um, design element so we go to the design tab you don't need to worry about uh, the columns but we go to the design tab and we go to sizing and we want to click on where it says equalize column heights so we're going to okay that and then we're going to update now this in itself doesn't um, change the height of the blurb modules but what it does if you've got multiple blurb modules so for instance if I had six blurb modules here then what it will do it will equalize the row height um, only so it's not going to change the size of your module so if we go back to our page here and refresh it there's going to be no change at all so it's still varying heights however the row behind it is going to be a fixed row height of the size of the highest or the, the biggest blurb module so in our instance um, if I was to color that background the background behind here would be the height of this center blurb so that's what that means um, to get the height of our blurb modules what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go into each of the modules and we're going to go to the advanced tab and we're going to get that specify a CSS class so in this instance I'm going to call this um, test page blurb height you can call it anything you want obviously um, so I'm going to copy that I'm going to OK that and I'm going to add it to all of the blurb modules like so under the advanced section and then I'm going to save the page so that's it the next thing that I want to do is I want to go and go to my theme editor now you, basically what we're going to do we're going to add some CSS so um, because I'm using a child theme I'm, I use the theme editor Divi however you can go into your theme options and you can add it to your custom CSS here and when Divi updates it won't mess around with it so it will always honor what you've got specified in your custom CSS but in our instance I'm going to be doing it in our child theme um, CSS so what we want to do is we want to add our CSS class 
and we want to use something that's called um, we want to specify a minimum height so we're going to use min height and we're going to start playing around with this until we get it right so I'm going to start off with 300 pixels and I'm also going to specify important and what that's going to do is going to take preference over anything else and then we're going to update it so now we can come back here we can start playing around with our heights the moment you can see there's still different heights so we can change this let's have a change that to let's just go let's just go crazy until we uh, until we see the change okay there we go so this shows you that um, it's uh, more than 300 but obviously less than 600 so all we need to do is we want to mess around with this until we get the right height so I'm going to go to 400 now to start with and we want to do it in the fixed height so that seems fine as it is what you want to do you want to test it so that uh, you want to set it so that it's the maximum just before it changes so that's going to be there so we want to adjust it now um, based on this so I'm going to go for 380 can go back check that we're going to keep adjusting it until they all form the same height so I'm going to go for 60 Okay, as you can see here, 360 is not quite enough, so let's go 370. Okay, that looks good, 370, and then we can check it again all the way through. Okay, so we need a bit more than that. As you can see here, it's dropped down there, so we want to go back to, let's go 380. And what this does, this basically takes care of every size of browser window. So it doesn't matter what size people have got, you check it all the way down until it drops down to tablet mode. All the way through the range, there we go. So that is the perfect height for us. Now obviously what you can do is you can then mess around with um, uh, further CSS or settings to change the text if you want to middle align it. Um, but that's all there is to it. So again, we'll just have a quick recap. So to change it, you wanna go and edit your page. First thing that you've gotta do is you want to tell under the design tab, the sizing, you wanna equalize the column heights. Once you've equalized the column heights, you come back into your blurb module, go to your advanced section and set a CSS class on all of your blurb modules in the row. Once you've done that, you then come back in and you specify your um, CSS. So you give it a minimum height um, of whatever you want it to be. And then we can go and view our page. Gonna inspect the element. And if we go into the element and have a look, we can see here, there's our CSS class, test page blurb height. And we should be able to find it in here, somewhere where the, uh, the size is. I can never find the thing in here. element where is it where are you hiding height is set to auto in there background on way 500 I can't find it let's try it again
there it is <laughs> sorry about that found it I knew it was in there somewhere it's just for uh, getting the right uh, the right place so you can see the minimum height there uh, is set to 380 and important overrides everything else if we untick it you can see quite clearly it changes it back so um, that's all there is to it if you found that video useful uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like it uh, but if you can also subscribe to our channel that'd be fantastic and we will keep knocking out Divi videos as and when we come across really useful info that's going to help you guys out just like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching see you soon